collab time! This one was organized by Kate from Willoughby and Rose and we are making all Goonie Snacks dresses! Yes! They're Goonie Snacks dresses! Snack inspired! For no reason whatsoever other than we are all kind of obsessed with Goonie Snacks. But I loved this idea. <laughs> First, I will close the shoulder. Ah, and this one I need to close forever. I don't want it. I don't want a very deep v-neck here. I just want like a slight opening so they don't meet on the front. A sweetheart neckline. Sweetheart? Is that what it's called? Like this kind of heart-shaped neckline? I can open this now. I think I'm going to curve this here a little bit. It's gonna be a time. Don't judge me. This is not the way to do it, but I don't feel like calculating anything. So just close this forever and go in a curve here. And then open open it again. Yeah, it will work, right? So I think I'm just transferring a little bit from one side to the other. Again, I have no idea if this is the way to go. We're so. continuing the Goonie Sex collabs from last year, the Sexoween and the Sex Mass that I started and never finished. And it happens to be April's Fool, which I hate, so... Some random content to take our minds from the awful pranks coming our way. Lord, give me strength! <laughs> So mark where the back part should start and I'm going to go straight to the other side. And this is the back, simple as that. I think I want to make the halter thingy using the sloper because I always make like two straight snakes but they never stay in place I think because I don't have the necessary adjustment on the shoulder. It's one inch to each side of the shoulder dart. Let's see if I can make something that works better. One mocking later. Look at this! The V on the front turned out a little bit wider than I wanted, but it's fine. Let's show a little bit of cleavage in the summer. I had to take off two centimeters from the princess scene because apparently my transfer didn't work and uh, <laughs> something happened. Two whole centimeters! So it would stay in place. But I'm, I really like this shape. And we can cut the fashion fabric. Which is the fabric that myself and the bacons did together. <gasps> This is such a good idea. Oh my god. Let's make a breakfast. Um, the, the words, they don't... No. All this work for nothing. I have to... Talk. I'm angry now. <laughs> make a very pointy bacon. Look at my pointy bacon. We have our new improved bacon. We have our egg flour. A stack of pancakes dripping with syrup. Toast. Should we put faces on our breakfast? Bonjour. Lights on the eyes to make it look cuter. This is almost like she's being snarled. Look into my eyes and tell me, with this horizontal bacon, where does the face go? Oh, I need to give it cheeks. Now we have cheeks. Let's make a sleepy bacon and face on the left. <laughs> make the mouth bigger so I can make it drool fat. I need cheeks as well. Yeah. So a drooling bacon, a Karen flour, and a creepy I will kill you toast. We're, we're, this is going fine. Next one is the pancake. This is our background. Is this picnic-y enough? Mm. We have one pancake here. Now we need to put a face on this pancake. I think it will be something like this, dude. So what about this scared face? Is this scared enough? It's more shocked than scared. Yes, I know. Haunted pancake. Yes. It has seen something nasty. Final pancake. The final pancake. <laughs> <laughs> The breakfast spread because it wouldn't be a Guna snacks dress without some snacks on top. Look, we have a toast, we have a very sad pancake and a sleepy bacon. And I love this fabric. I couldn't decide what to do with it and this is the perfect thing. This is just the most perfect thing. <laughs> Hello, if you like weird things then join me on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Central European time. And also, I have patterns available. Whee! Turns out I don't have enough fabric for everything. So I'm adding this yellow poplin, no stretch, matches this color and this color. So that's cool. Whee! I made some changes to the room as well. It is chaos. This thing, this thing. It's getting out. I need more space and this is not helping me. So I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> Part that I don't like about this dress. Oh, it's so annoying to make this dear thing. One eternity later.
Ta-da! It's assembled. Well, so while you're doing some garden work on Friday, I, I draw a very heavy slab of concrete on my finger. And I broke the first phalange. Something is wrong with the left phalange. Phalange! Oh no, my finger is broken. But I am not going to the doctor. I'm going to patch it myself. Toilet paper roll and cotton pads. Perfect. <laughs> This, this was the culprit. This one, right here. But at least now my trash cans have a designated place. <laughs> one doctor later. It's just a hairline fracture. I can move the finger quite well. But I have to wear this thing to keep everything from breaking further. It's like, yeah, I want to take this off. This is my seventh or eighth finger fracture. I lost count. I'm not enjoying really like just this random one strip of yellow. I sew two snakes of yellow right to spacing with some trims in the middle to make a belty belt. Don't ask me what happened here, but now it's time to turn this inside out. Just to give it a little bit more yellow. I, I lost my loop turner. Annoyed! Just one thing that I'm very happy about is that the broken finger is not on my dominant hand. But it was really hard to do my hair this morning after showering and putting it in these braids without having my middle finger working because I use my middle finger for braiding, I established. And it's Monday and I woke up this morning to the fact that Will Smith slapped the shit out of Chris Rock on the Oscars. I don't wanna... Where's my loop turner? Always keep your loop turners nice and cool. I knew I took it somewhere. Unacceptable. One pressing later. Belt and zipper installed. I don't know how I'm going to do this closure. I think I'm going to build the loops here and then attach them to the back and then add this trim to hide the stitches. Ugh, terrible. I had to sew this three times. I'm still finding this really, really boring. 12 seconds later. I didn't have more cotton things, so <laughs> Stop it! I didn't have more cotton lace, so I just decided to shear a little bit of my very skinny twill tape and it kind of looks like popcorn before sewing onto the dress and then it turned into spitballs. Not angry at it, kind of like this effect anyways. It looks funky, I like it. <laughs> now the reveal. work as I planned I need to change it. it keeps falling off and I might have installed it on the wrong side <laughs> like this is supposed to be on the left and this on the right I have to check the pattern later it's too late for that now I think that costumes obsession with goonie sex is well justified because this dress is so freaking cute ah! it's not only the fabric it's just like the shape of it it's so pretty girly Ooh. It's so cute this is oh. yes I am having dress zoomies again it's my life Hey, it needs to be warm again so I can wear it outside. I'm losing my patience shooting here in this corner. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these shenanigans, then check the video down here because I think you're going to like it. Ta-ta! I feel great eternally flipping the bird.